It's hard to believe that something as simple as stating what you're worried about while tapping on a few acupuncture points can have a profound impact on how that issue impacts your life, but it can. Philip Mountrose and his wife Jane have co-authored several books and CDs on a healing modality known as the Emotional Freedom Technique. The reason we did this interview is because it is the most often requested subject by our viewers. Millions of people have been helped by this simple, profound, and free technology. What I found interesting is that it goes against what some healers feel is the proper way to use affirmations. Now, one thing I'm curious about is in a lot of the different modalities of self-improvement and healing, when it comes to affirmations, um, some schools will say, you never speak of the problem, you only speak of the end result, the solution, and you focus on that. Here, you're saying to very much bring alive the problem. Can you talk to that for a moment? Sure. Um, a good analogy would be saying, say you have a room in your house that you'd like to renovate, you'd like to make it prettier, you'd like to fix up your garage. That might be a lot of people who relate to it. So, let's say that we just make this room incredibly beautiful, bring in just all the furniture, furnishings you want and everything, but we don't clean out all the junk. Makes total sense. So, that's what just as sometimes, I think it's sometimes a, a, a weakness or a blind spot of some new age approaches to things where you're just bringing in the light and I don't have any inner child problems and everything is fine. And, uh, it doesn't seem to bear out in reality. It doesn't seem to actually be accurate reality check for the spiritual path because part of it is learning those things. For any of you that would like to quickly release emotional baggage, you won't want to miss this interview. For the full interview, go to ConsciousMediaNetwork.com.